I've been trying to get my life on track as it's been on the streets for nearly a year. I've been getting in trouble with the police and the system since I was about eight or nine years old. So that's why I'm on my own, really. My grandmother got me assessed when I was young and it came back as that I had, supposedly according to them, I had fetal alcohol syndrome. This place is Crossroads. It's basically for people who can't really afford a lot of stuff, so there's breakfast here, there's lunch. If it wasn't for this place, we'd be scrammed in on the street. Yeah. This is mostly what I eat, just bread and apples. I do like my apples. With the ADD that I've got, I was always on, on edge. I was always trying to get attention. FASD is one of the most prevalent forms of neurodisability that we're seeing in the, the court. Some of the most clear indicators of the presence of a neurodisability such as FASD are also what people think are the very signs of criminality and um, deviancy. I wasn't too bad last night. Um, I got a bit cold sort of early hours of the morning, but then it warmed up a, a bit more. Ah, this is my spot right here. See, it's perfect fit. <laughs> What we know is if you've got a brain-based disability, punishment is not going to make that go away. It's probably going to make it worse rather than better. I'm a really strong believer in um, what Tupac said in a lot of his speeches. Like, no matter what, you keep your head up through, through times when you're feeling really low, just keep your head up and just push through perseverance. When I'm sleeping on the streets of us, all I think about is that my life is worth it. I'm not, I'm not the type of person who's going to think, while well, I'm down, my life's not worth anything. I'm, I know my life is worth of what to me to live.